Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a review and demo on the number seven Lift and Illuminate foundation. So they have three foundations. They have an airbrush one, they have a stale, stay perfect foundation, and then the Lift and Illuminate. The other one I did want to try was the airbrush, but I was like, you know what? I gravitate towards this one because it said Illuminate. It's supposed to be good for like normal to dry skin, and I do have a dry skin, so I wanted to check it out. You can find number seven. I found mine, they have it at Ulta, but they also have have it at Target as well. I wasn't able to find the Illuminate foundation in my Target. I don't know if maybe they're just adding them little by little, but I did find it at Ulta. And it runs for about $16. And the only don't want but yeah, downfall I would say is that they only seem to have eight colors. I don't know if hopefully maybe they'll expand later, but I would say it goes anywhere from like light to like a medium tan. Like their darkest shade is like you know a darker tan shade not like anywhere for like a deep or dark skin tone so I feel like that's where they kind of need to expand a little bit I picked up mine in the shade deeply beige I feel like maybe I should have gone a shade down but I was like is that gonna be too cool maybe if I would have mixed them um, but at the same time I was like, you know what summer's coming so deeply beige is probably gonna work out for me later anyway um, and I feel like it, it does still work so we're looking okay right <laughs> So this foundation, um, I've been using it with a beauty blender as well as a brush. And at first, I was not liking it with a brush. Not until I used this crown brush. So this is kind of like an angled. It's not totally flat. flat. It's a little bit rounded off. Because before I was using, it was my Wet n Wild Stippling Brush, which I love. I love that one. But I wasn't quite loving it with this foundation. I feel like maybe the texture just needed something a little bit softer. So there's, you can find like any little like round kabuki type brushes. I kind of like a little bit rounder, a little bit softer. I think it complemented it so well. And in the review and demo, I did one side of my face with the brush and I did the other side of my face with the beauty blender. And honestly, I think this foundation would even be great for you to even just um, apply with like your fingers, so, like kind of applying it as a moisturizer. It is really light, um, so you can really get that one layer. I think it gives you that really nice natural like people are wondering if you're wearing makeup or not so for those of you who like that um or you can add a second layer and just kind of get a little bit more coverage which is what I'm doing so for those of you who like some days a little bit less coverage and some days you want to you know do a little bit more I know for work sometimes I like just slap something on just get something on your face and we'll be good but I feel like one or two layers depending on what your preference is the kind of like texture and the formula and the way that it kind of looks, the naturalness of it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Sonia Kashuk Tinted Moisturizer a little bit. Especially like the feeling when I kind of just kind of like rub it in with my fingers. Um, it kind of reminds me of that. So, and that's also really nice and buildable. That is more of a tinted moisturizer, but you know, kind of in that foundation spectrum. And this one also, I think, is really, really great, buildable, and it's really, really easy to blend. It blends into the skin, whether it's with the brush or the beauty blender. Definitely with the brush, you're gonna get a little bit more coverage than with the beauty blender. But sometimes I like to just at the end go in with my beauty blender, just airbrush it out even more. Um, with the beauty blender, you're definitely gonna get more sheer layers. So you might want to do like one, two, two and a half, depending on what you're doing. But something really quick, I think you're gonna like it. I think the longevity of it is also really great. This will last you all throughout the workday, so you save your like eight plus hours. Um, but it just it looks really, really natural. I remember one of her friends, she's like, Wait, are you wearing foundation? Like your skin looks so good. I was like, nah, my skin does not look as good. <laughs> I am wearing foundation, I got coverage, we got something to kind of help um even everything out. So if that's something you're just looking for, just to kind of like even out, give you a nice smooth surface to work with, definitely I would say just go with one layer. If you definitely want that even out, if you want want to like you know get more coverage but you don't want something that's gonna look cakey and make it look like you have a lot of makeup on then definitely I would I would definitely suggest this foundation like I know I like it because I've been wanting to test it out more and more and more and even with the brush I was like you know what let me try with this rounded brush and I loved it so much it's so soft crown brushes are so affordable and I feel like this brush this is the crown C453 brush you can probably find something from like Morphe or Sigma brushes it's very very similar but I've actually really I think I've been really liking this foundation I love that it has a really nice natural look so for like the work day just going with my brush just really really quick it's so quick and it's so easy I was I was pretty 
I was pretty impressed by this and it's like illuminate it is a nice healthy glow it isn't super well, at least for my dry skin it isn't super dewy um, it just has a nice natural healthy glow so if that's something more that you're looking for so like it makes the skin look like it makes your skin look like skin not like you're wearing foundation depending you know how many layers if you go a little crazy with it eventually it's gonna look like foundation but I think it dries out really really natural it especially around like your pore hairs and your forehead it just looks like a nice really nice natural finish overall I have to say I was impressed by this foundation I picked up the foundation and their bronzer and a compact and I was also really impressed with that as well so so far so good I've been kind of like dabbling and testing some stuff out from this line the other thing that I really like I feel like maybe depending where you might find it but you can also find this at Walgreens too so I've seen it at Walgreens, Target, Ulta maybe you can find it some other places as well but most of their locations they have almost like I feel like all their products they have it so you can swatch so you can test it out there and I think that's really really great because you know you're like what color am I but also lighting can you know kind of be like I don't know but you have a better chance of finding something that's gonna match you a little bit better so even for their bronzers even for their blushes everything you can swatch which I love and that's hard to find with drugstore affordable products $16 but you know it's, it's around that it's like the higher end drugs are probably around like that Sonia Kasha pixie type range of products it's still it's not super duper like you know cheap um, but it's also not really expensive it's like okay if I kind of want to step it up a bit maybe I'll try some of these products out see if the quality is a little bit better for the price it better be a little bit better than some of the more affordable products but regardless $16 for foundation is not too bad I guess um, it's not $30 it's not $40 so if you want to like kind of you step your game up a little bit maybe spend a little bit more and see if it's worth it I think if you're normal definitely normal might even like it even more but I don't know normal to dry skin I think I think you would really enjoy this foundation so I hope you guys enjoyed that review and demo. Let me know if you've tried out this foundation and what your skin type is and whether you liked it or not. I'm wondering what other people are saying about this. I don't think I've seen any reviews. I haven't watched like specifically any reviews on this foundation. I just kind of like tested it on myself and so far so good. I've been liking it. I would recommend it if you've been interested in kind of like eyeing this brand. And I say, you know what, pick it up. And as usual, maybe you pick it up, keep the receipt, you don't like it, return it. That's that's what I love. Most places do that, so go ahead and do that yourself if you did not enjoy the foundation. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to keep up with some more videos, and I'll see you guys next time.